In a galaxy far, far away, they still seem to have the most annoying thing that ever came to multiplayer games. Alright boys, we got this. Spawn traps. Thank you. How's it going guys? Oh my gosh, it is here. The Battlefront beta has dropped. And today I am going to be talking about my thoughts about the beta, the goods and the bads that I see in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna jump right into this because I am so excited. I hope you enjoy. I am going to start out with the goods here simply because there are so many of them and they really trump the bads that I found in this game. So right off the bat, you're going to notice these graphics are so stunning. I literally said wow out loud to myself sitting in my gaming room playing this game. They are that stunning. Now keeping these graphics in mind, I do want to tell you guys that I have only been stunned twice with these next-gen consoles when it comes to graphics. The first one was on Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. That was the first one that I actually said, wow, this looks next-gen. And now Battlefront looks so next-gen that it actually makes me excited to see what's going to be coming out next. Now let's talk about the landscape a little bit here on Walker's Assault. That's the map I'm playing on right now, the snowy level. Now. This map is so humongous and so mesmerizing that it actually takes you a while to actually touch every inch of this map and actually discover where you can and can't go. I probably played on this map a few dozen times and I still don't know all the turns, the nooks and crannies of this map. And this is only one map, I mean they let you play on a couple maps in this game and this is only one of the two that they let you play on and there's going to be so many more released when this game comes out. It really feels like a futuristic battlefield type of game. DICE really nailed this on the head. Now let me say this right away. If you don't have headphones playing this game, you are simply missing out. The sound in this game is of the X-Wings and the Y-Wings flying overhead, the grenades, the gunfire, the sniper fire all together is so cool, for lack of a better term there, that if you don't have headphones, I recommend going out and just picking up a pair just for this game when it comes out. It is that good. Now something I really like about the pre-game picking weapons, picking outfits, picking perks, all that stuff, is they actually make you pay for these things. Now it's not one of those ones where it gets released on level 6, let's say, and then you just have the gun. What it happens is, it gets released on level 6, and then you have to have enough tokens to actually pay for the gun. This is really Call of Duty Black ops -y. I mean, you know, they had COD points in those games. This one is the same exact concept. I really like that because it actually makes you think strategically on what you want to get as the game goes on. It gives your outload a little bit more of a personal feel to it. I like that. Now there are a hundred more things I absolutely love about this game, but I want to make this video uh, a little bit shorter. So I'm not going to go on anymore with the goods. I'm going to switch to the bads here. And you guys tell me what you think about these. Now my complaints about this game really surround around the fact that this is a beta. Now, when I first turned it on after the game was downloaded, I was only allowed to play on Walker Assault. I don't know why they wouldn't let me play on the other map. It kept saying server error. And I mean, that really is based around the fact that it is a beta. There was some bugs when it started. I wasn't able to play on that map until this morning. And that kind of irritated me. But you know what? It is a beta and betas be betas. Am I right, ladies? My biggest complaint about this game is the spawns. The spawns are so bad in this game right now that it's, it's almost difficult to play. You always spawn right on top of other players on the opposite team. You always have to jump and dodge and dip and dive around just to get away from the spawn because there's always people sitting on the spawn waiting for you to spawn. It is one of the most ridiculous spawn trapping games I have ever played in my entire life. Now the last thing I really want to talk about is more of a personal complaint about the game, and that is that the flying controls are a little bit goofy. They can definitely be touched up to make it a little bit more simple, but it is really hard to explain. You really have to play it yourself to understand the goofiness of the flying. But that's really all I got for you guys for an initial review of the beta. It's a great game. I definitely recommend downloading it. It is free. Just go into the Xbox Live Marketplace and type in Star Wars Battlefront Beta and it will pop up. Download it, play it. You will not regret it. It is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. I will see you all later.